Okay, Adam. Uh, first game in a trophy this season. Uh, through to the next round. 2 0 win over Chertsey. Uh, thoughts, thoughts on the game? Um, yeah, I thought obviously the, the sending off has a massive impact on the game. Um, one of them that I think if you're on the wrong side of it, you think a bit hard done by, but um, you know, they're right in front of their dugout and they sort of jumped up, and I think that adds maybe to um, the decision that the refs come to. But no, I thought, you know, considering is against 10 men, um, obviously we had 10 men. Um, I thought we controlled it quite well, to be honest, in large uh, spells. And, you know, to, we got goals. So I think the first goal was, was a good good goal. It was nice and patient, moved the ball from side to side. And it was a great header for, from Deshaun. So, uh, and, and after that, I thought that that showed like, tremendous character to, to stick to a good shape, good game plan. And I'm glad they got the second, because uh, I thought they deserved it. Yeah, did it again, goal right on half-time, probably change your team talk a little bit? No, yeah, definitely, uh, it definitely does. Yeah, I feel we, um, you know, at times again, probably a bit, a bit too sloppy on the ball, and we've got to get back to believing in how we play and uh, moving teams around a little bit more. Um, I think it's going back to front a little bit too quickly at times. Um, but no, like I say, we, we've done that well um, in, in periods in game, um, second half. Uh, without sort of causing loads and loads of, of chances. I thought we showed a different side to our game. The defender was nice and resolute and um, you know, bags of, of good performances. I thought Oli worked particularly well up top and organised the team from the front and led the line really well today. Yeah, and in, in a way, I, f I felt that with, with the 10 men, you've talked about the control. I think our game was more, more controlled than it was with 11 men in a, in a funny sort of way. No, yeah, definitely. Um, I, I, I honestly, you know, felt that how we'd get our success is by us being a bit calmer on the ball and making that extra pass at the back to force them out a little bit to then then break the lines. And, um, you know, we've done that at times really well. Um, but, yeah, we seem a lot more relaxed and, and controlled uh, in our game second half. And um, so we've got to try and find that with 11 players uh, from the start of the game. Yeah, and you, you mentioned how some males say save at the end. Like I say, I think the first header was onside. Yeah. And it was cracking today. I think no, the follow-up yeah. the follow up was offside. No. But that, that was quite an important moment. But we we just scored with Reese. Yeah. Um, this was assessing their player down that far side. And he, he, he made the right decision there because sometimes we see him sort of try and cut in and take a shot. No, but that's he decided it. to square no, it. That was great great ball from Joel to put it in behind, put their defender under trouble and then you know Miki's work great to go press and um, you know, I'm glad them two got their uh, rewards um, in the end because, you know, like I say, it's a great decision for Mickey to cut it back. And like I say, I think Ollie was brilliant, so I'm glad he got his goal. So, um, no, all in all, like everyone was needed today, weren't they? Um, you know, every single player was needed out of the pitch from Harrison and, and the four players. And um, yeah, I'd, I don't know whether it's going to be one game too many, though, because we didn't make too many changes. Uh, we tried to rest Barker up, and then obviously he, had, he come on for tie. Because um, he's had a few hamstring problems in the past, and then Jesse and Deshaun just literally give everything and run out of legs um, towards the end. So, you know, the recovery is going to be important now because we've got another big game Tuesday. Yeah, I was just about to say we wouldn't get him Finchley away on Tuesday. Uh, another tough a bit of a long travel as well yeah. obviously getting back late and then then obviously we were at home on Saturday so yeah. you know how difficult is it sort of you know uh, controlling controlling the players and yeah. keeping them down and keeping them fit it's so it's so hard um, because we are only in on a Tuesday Thursday so next time I see the boys is just for the game um, on Tuesday uh, so it is tough you've just got to be We'll send them a few bits to do over Sunday and Monday to try the best to recover the best they can. Um, and yeah, we've got just we've got a bang on the head, so we've got to see how he is tomorrow. Um, you know, except it'll be a concussion, which is two weeks. Um, so yeah, it's about it is it is tough, but it's about just getting in contact with the players tomorrow and, and seeing how open he is and just trying to do our best for him um, in the lead up to Tuesday. But um, yeah, it's not it's not an easy one. Yeah, so cup runner started. We want to obviously want to progress in this competition as much as we can. No, definitely. I think going down to ten men is a tricky little ground to come to, and um, to keep clean sheet, get your two 0 win, and be in the, the, uh, the hat for next next uh, round is is all you can ask in the cup. And um, yeah, it'd be nice to uh, have a bit of a cup run in, in the trophy. It's obviously a great competition, and you know, 
hopefully we we'll get to test ourselves against you know some, some good teams. So yeah, we definitely want to do well in, in the competition. I'm glad that the, the lads have dug in today and got the win. Okay, congratulations, Adam, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Nice one. Cheers, Pete.